Welcome back to Tabletop Jason. Today we're back with another unboxing. The game of choice is called Here to Slay. It's a game for two to six players from the creators of Unstable Unicorns. I picked this guy up because I like finding new games for the kids and my kids are still a little younger. So the art looked cute for them cute for the younger ones and the game looks somewhat serious enough for the older ones so let's see what's inside this box okay but first let's read this description here to Slay is a strategic role-playing fantasy card game from the creators of Unstable Unicorns. In this game, you'll assemble a full party of heroes and slay the dangerous monsters while sabotaging your friends' enemies. Hmm. Brace yourself for a fast-paced, adorable, and utterly destructive adventure. Well, it, I think it said ages 10 and up, so it might be a little too hard for some of my younger kids but they'll enjoy watching because they like unicorns and mice and monsters. Looks like it's primarily a card game, but let's give it a look. We've got instructions. Okay, how to play. And if you've seen my other un unboxings, I don't generally go over the rules. I just kind of show you what the game looks like and at a later date, I'll do a demo or a review or a simple how to play. Instructions look pretty simple. Lots of class symbols. Fighter, guardian, ranger, thief, wizard, bard, any hero. Looks like pretty standard role-playing game characters. There's the layout. Okay, let's see what these cards look like. Uh-oh. Hmm. Is this too risky to try? Ah, we got it on the first try. Okay. These must be the oversized monster cards. The Fist of Reason, the Divine Arrow. These look more like they're objects. Looks like a Pikachu with antlers. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Oh, we've got some dice. Hey, these are pretty dice. Whoa, hard to get out. These are fancy dice. Nice in color. Okay. Pop those back in. We got more of these big monsters. Oh, we'll try this one again. Okay, hold the breath. And nobody got injured. More shrink wrap. We've got, oh, these look like monsters. A Titan Wyvern, a Mammoth. Okay, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this art. To be honest, I'm not crazy about it. Um, but that doesn't mean anything. That's my own opinion, right? You might love this. I like anime, but I don't always like um, this type of anime, if that makes any sense. I'm more of the Macross, Ghost in the Shell, Record of the Lotus Wars type of anime. Fan. Whoops. But like I said, that's just my opinion. That doesn't mean there's any sort of lack of talent. Winds of Change, remember that song by the Scorpions? Follow the Berlin Wall, Winds of Change. Love that song. Forceful Winds, lots of winds. Call to the Fallen. I have no idea what these cards do. They all have the same back, mostly. I have no idea what these things do. These look like these are all kind of items, don't they? A decoy doll, that's kind of cool. Fighter Mask, okay. This, yeah, this might be too complicated for my littlest kids, but my, my oldest may be able to play this pretty well. 
my old, my oldest one for sure. I thought it was a co-op game, but the description on the back of the box makes it seem like it might not be. Lots of items. Wonder how similar it is to One Deck Dungeon. You know, a lot of these games kind of they can blur together, can't they? These are little how to play cards. What's on the back? Okay. Do they all say the same thing? Yeah, okay. Little cheat sheet cards. Let's see what we have here. How to slay. We've got more. Oh, say hi to the camera, maybe. Eh, hi camera. Sorry, I'm kind of hiding behind the behind my iPhone. Okay. Whoops. And we've got more items. You know, this looks fairly simple, which is not ever necessarily a bad thing. Some games get so complex that they're hard to play until you've practiced a couple times. But this one looks pretty simple. Okay, now we're into some unicorns. Yay, unicorns! They look like kind of a cross between some type of anime, My Little Pony. Now we're to the Pikachu looking thing. Is that a bunny? Oh, they are! Okay, so I have one girl who likes bunnies and one who likes unicorns. So maybe they will want to give this a try. Hmm. Okay. And we've got some magic spells. Well, that's, that's it, actually. That's kind of cool. Pack up the box. Just to show sometimes you can get these boxes packed up quick and other times a game like Talisman 3rd Edition can take a good solid four or five hours to put away it seems like. There's the back of the box again and that will do it for this unboxing. Be sure to click that subscribe button. I'll be back next week and thanks for watching. <laughs>